Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I created this fun makeup look that was inspired by New Year's Eve makeup, and I recorded it, and this is what I came up with, and yeah. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe and to follow me on my other social media accounts. They will be linked down below. And if you are interested in seeing how I got this New Year's Eve makeup look, then please keep on watching. Bye, guys. All right, to begin, I'm going to prime my skin. I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and the Soap and Glory One Half of a Blot. I'm going to apply the Nivea Men's to my whole face. And then I'm gonna take the one heck of a blot. Well, that much. <laughs> and then rub that in all of my porous areas and then anywhere that I get oily. So I'm gonna let both of those primers just sort of soak into my skin while I do the eyes. Um, I'm just going to prime the lids with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And then I'll just set my eyes with any sort of translucent powder. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using a mixture of these two palettes right here. Um, this is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. I have yet to use this in a video. And then I'm going to be using the Modern Runner Song. I'm going to take this on the Morphe M502 brush. And I'm going to grab the shade Courtney over here. It's just a nice transition shade. This is from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. And this is just going to go in my crease and act as my transition shade. And then right on top of that from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to take Wing Fresso. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. The shade right here. It's like this sort of like mauve lilac-y sort of transition shade. And then I'm just going to mix that with Courtney, the first transition that we put on our eyes. And this is just going to give us like a slightly warm purpley um, transition shade. From this Jeffree Star palette, we're going to go back. We're going to use this color Vanity. It's Dark. like a um, grayish, plummy sort of color. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to take that on a Morphe M433. Um, it's just a smaller, denser blending brush. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner, sort of creating that shape. Come out over here and then fade in. And then I'm bringing that out on the lid too. I'm picking up a sort of newer product. This is the Maybelline Color Cat Tattoo uh, Eye Chrome. And it comes in like this little lipstick tube. I just picked this up. This is one of my newer products. Off the brush. shade Gilded Rose so it's like a soft champagne pink color and then I'm gonna take the NYX glitter which I also just bought the color rose so I'm using sort of rosy tones a lot of the things I'm using have the name rose in them today and I'm just gonna dip my finger in there and then put it right over that like wet chrome shadow Okay, now that that's all down, I'm going to grab this little brush by Morphe. It's the M568. It's like this really small, fluffy, flimsy um, sort of precision brush. And then I'm going to grab the black in this Jeffree Star palette. It's the black rainbow color. And then I'm just going to sort of work this in the outer corner, blending that in with the um, shimmer. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and do the face, and then I'll come back for, like, eyeliner and the rest of the eyes. Okay, for the face, I'm going to be using a different foundation. Um, this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It's, like, brand new from NYX. Um, and I have it in the shade 06 Vanilla. And then it's, like, has this little dropper. There's not very much product in here. Like, this is half the size of a normal foundation. But I think... For this foundation, you don't need as much. On the box, it said, like, two drops is light coverage, three is medium, and then four and more is full coverage. So I guess we'll just see how many drops I need. I am going to be using a beauty sponge. This is the one from Morphe. So I may need a little bit more, but I'm just going to drop a few drops onto this. That was probably four. I'm going to take this. and do this with it, I guess. Lately, 
Lately I've been using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, who's this from? Maybelline. And I have it in light pale or whatever. And just sort of crank it up. I'm going to highlight and conceal all parts of my face. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with my damp sponge and my air spun. Okay, so that's gonna bake for like a few minutes while I fill in my eyebrows. I just picked up the Anastasia brow wit or the brow definer in soft brown. So I have my brows on. Now I'm going to take this new product I just got. This is the Maybelline Better Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. <laughs> That's a long name, girl. And this is in Classic Ivory 20. This is the palest one. This only has four shades, but this will be just fine. And I'm going to take this on the Morphe E3 Powder Brush. I've never used this product. So, yeah. And I'm just going to sort of sweep away the bakage and set with this. Now I'm going to warm up and bronze the skin with this little Pro Glow To Go palette by Tarte. And it's just like the two highlighters and the bronzing shade, but these are like for the fairer skin tones. So it kind of works out well. And I'm going to take the bronzer and chisel on the Morphe M551 big like bronzing brush. I don't know. That's just sort of what I've been using it for. And just sort of warm up the face and contour a little bit. I'm not going to use any blush. Um, I'm just going to go straight to highlight. I'm going to take this Hard Candy Sheer Glow um, like liquid illuminator sort of thing. And I'll just take my little beauty sponge and tap this away on my cheek. And then to highlight with, I'm going to be using this new product. Um, this is from NYX and it's the Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder. And you're supposed to get the cream highlight with it, but I just wanted this. And this is in Snow Rose. So we're going with the rose theme today. And I'm just going to take that on my little Morphe highlighting brush as usual. And... Have we seen this? Now we're going to finish the under eye area. I'm going to go in with that Anastasia shadow, the this one. <laughs> and I'm going to buff that under the eye. I'm going to do the same with this darker um, vanity shade. Then in this palette, um, there's this color Princess, and it's like sort of this purpley pink, really sort of like iridescent shade. And I'm going to grab that on this brush and highlight the inner corner with it. Because I think this will just sort of tie the whole look together. Wouldn't you say so? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more after this. I'm going to take the Maybelline Master fix lock in makeup setting spray i got so i went maybelline crazy um and i'm just gonna set my face so i'm going to take my nyx glitter primer and just squirt some on the back of my hand to take just a little precision brush and coat my brush with that primer and draw a little upside down triangle under my eye the same brush um. Okay, so this is what that should look like once you have that on your eyeballs. I'm now going to apply my winged liner. To go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Nude Pink lip liner. And then I'm going to take the Nips, NYX Lip Lingerie in Baby Doll. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and false lashes, and I will be back to 
show you the finished look in just a second. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished look. I put my eyelashes on. These are the Kiss Number 11s. And yeah, this is all there are to it. I hope you hope I hope you enjoyed this uh, New Year's Eve fun makeup look and learned something cool today. And yeah, bye guys.